When you come across an issue like this, when you have your inflation tube that you use to inflate your moonwalk and the strap itself breaks, sometimes this happens because the strap is dry rotted. And so you can see the strap has broken, so we cannot use this to tie off the inflation tube. So instead of getting the entire tube replaced, I'm going to show you how to replace the strap with our DIY tube strap. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take some scissors and we're just going to get rid of this strap here by cutting it out. We're going to get as close to the seam as possible and just cut away at it. I'm going to fold the tube like this so it's a little easier to access. And like I said, we're just going to cut off the strap at the base as close to the seam as you can get without cutting the vinyl. And it's okay if there's a little bit of that strap still showing because we're going to cover that up in a minute. So I'm going to get rid of the old strap and I'm going to get our DIY tube strap here. This is what it looks like when you purchase it on the website and it has this vinyl patch on it with the strap already sewn to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to lay it on top of that seam where the old strap was. Then I'm going to take a white pencil, these types of pencils where you can just erase them from the vinyl after you're done or you can just use a regular pencil, whichever you prefer. And I'm going to trace around the patch. This way we have a reference for where we need to put the glue down. So the next thing we're going to need is the vinyl cement glue that's also available on the website. So I'm going to start by putting glue on here on the inflation tube first. You don't have to apply a very thick coating, but just make sure the entire area is covered. And you want to go just a little bit past the white line you might to make sure that all of the edges of the patch are covered. So it's okay to go over that line a little bit. This glue is clear and it will dry clear. Make sure you're doing this in a well ven ventilated area. Okay, so once all of that is glued, I'm gonna do the same thing to the back of the patch. Just cover the back in glue. Just make sure to get the edges because you wanna make sure the entire patch is glued down. If there's any edges showing that might try to peel off in the future, as long as you get the glue on all of the edges, you won't have to worry about it going anywhere. Okay, now both sides are covered in the glue. Important thing to remember about this glue though is you don't want to apply it immediately after putting the glue down. You actually want to wait for it to dry a little bit. You can also blow on it, fan it down to try and get it dry. You want it to be to the point where the glue is a little bit cloudy and it'll be a bit of a tacky texture that's when you want to put the glue down. So I'm gonna blow on it and then in a minute it'll be ready to glue down. Okay, you can see it is a little more of a cloudy texture now, so it is ready to patch. So you just take the top of the patch, you want to stretch out the inflation tube as much as you can. If you want, you can have someone else help you and you just stretch this out to make sure you patch over the seam correctly. And then we're going to place the patch back down on the circle that we traced. Just take your time as you're putting it down to make sure it's flat and exactly where you want it to be. Okay, and then once you do that, you want to apply pressure on it for about five to 10 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it's all finished. You can double check all of the edges once it's dry and just make sure that it's all glued down and secure. And then you have a new strap ready to use to close your inflation tube.